Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn and uh, I'm working on a new video and I figured I'd take the time to show off the features of this new mod called Manufacturing Extended. This mod adds a number of new forges and sorters to the game which makes the Contraptions Workshop actually really useful in a settlement uh, when it comes to the machines that you can produce. So I'm gonna go through some of the highlights of this mod. You can click on the link that I provide in the description of this uh, video to view all of the features that come with this mod. I'm just going to go over the ones that I think are really unique. So one of the things that comes with this mod that makes it useful to me is this recycler. And what it does is it breaks down to its base components all of the junk and scrap that comes from your source. <clears throat> now this is one of those uh, utilities that I think just should have come with Contraptions Workshop. Honestly, there's, there's no excuse for it. This is something that would have made the game much more useful. It would have made conveyor belts a practical solution for a real functioning workshop and the omission of it is uh, is frankly shocking in my opinion but you can download a mod which produces this uh, and uh, let me demonstrate it for you so as you can see this vacuum hopper is sucking the contents of my workshop out of the workshop and pushing it along this conveyor belt right now it's going through what appears to be aluminum or something but I'm gonna drop a microscope down here and let's watch so the output put is silver. This is all the silver that's coming out of my workshop. But there we go. Now we've got some crystal. And taking a look on the inside, you see that they've broken, that this machine has broken it down to fiber optics, gears, and glass. And then it's constantly being uh, fed silver from my workshop because it's coming out there. So this forge breaks down junk items into their base components. And you can set up something like I have here, which is just going to suck everything out of your workshop, feed it along the line to the recycler, which is going to break it down into its base components. So a very cool new forge that came with this mod. Now the next one I want to show off is this, um, and what it is, is it's a conveyor workshop storage. So if you've seen my other videos where I showed off all of the different pieces that come with conveyor belts, you'll know that uh, there's just this regular storage conveyor. It's just a conveyor storage. Whatever comes down the line gets stored in this container. The difference is that this container has a direct connection with the workshop which means that as things come through here, it gets magically sent back to the workshop, which starts the chain all over again. And this is another unit that was missing that I felt needed to be added because this is the only way you can really make endless uh, conveyor belts that are connected to your workshop. Um, so this is really great. So once you finish doing all of the filtering and breaking down that you want, this will send everything back to your workshop. And the way that I have it set up is I have all of these materials coming into the sorter. Inside my sorter, I have the ingredients that I want to create a specific item, which is a 10 millimeter pistol. And then I have the weapons forge that is collecting those items. So as the items that I need to create the weapon get sorted down this path, they get saved here. And when this forge saves enough of them, it produces the item and it gets sent to this storage. As you can see, it's already uh, created two of them. <clears throat> now, because this is sucking out everything from my workshop, it's gonna take a while before the exact components get sorted and sent down the row uh, to the weapons forge. So this is going to slowly create 10 millimeter pistols over time. Anyway, that's how I use those two pieces that come with this mod. Another one I want to show off is the auto butcher. <laughs> the auto butcher is such a cool little device and it comes in handy uh, during raids. So my settlement was recently raided by mongrels, probably because I have these... Uh, dog catch cages up here and let me show you how the auto butcher works here's a mongrel corpse and let me pick it up and let's slowly drag it on over 
to the auto butcher. Lift it up high and feed it into the machine. And let's see what comes out on the other side. Bingo! It breaks the corpse down to its base components. In this case, of course, we've got mongrel meat, fertilizer, and then leather, right? Makes perfect sense. Now, the reason that this is an important one is because yeah, not only do you get raided from time to time by raiders and monsters, and you need to clean up your settlement, Yes, they do disappear over time, but, you know, it may be nice to get rid of the, them this way. But there are some settlements, like the Sunshine Trading Company, for example, that comes with bodies that do not decompose, like ghouls. Or let's say that you've got the castle and you go through the Minuteman quest and you've got some dead Minuteman laying around your settlement that do not decompose. You can now get rid of them using the Auto Butcher. Or let's just say that you go on a killing spree in your settlement and uh, you don't want to, you, and you kill all your settlers, but you need to do something with their bodies, so now you've got the auto butcher. Oh man. Alright, slowly pick it up. Slowly drag it. Oh, not too fast. It's like a pendulum. Let's pick it up from the middle here. Oh, look, and he's got a railway spike stuck in him. I wonder how the auto butcher will figure that. Whoa! Oh, and that sucks it up. Whoa! And there we go. Chews up all the meat and sends it out. Pretty cool. Another useful one that comes with the mod is this component e extractor. This is similar to the vacuum hopper, only it it actually only sucks out the components from junk items that match its inventory. So what it'll do is if it finds a junk item in the workshop that it's connected to, like that one, uh, it will scrap that item, break it down, but then it only spits out the components that you specify. This can be useful when trying to set up a machine that pulls only the ingredients for a specific weapon out of your workshop, out of the junk in your workshop, and then sends it down this way to the forge where that item is produced. So for example, let's say that I want to pull ceramic and only ceramic out of my workshop. I'll go to the component extractor, go to my inventory, put in one piece of ceramic, and then, there, as you can see, it's only pulling out ceramic. And boy, howdy, is it pulling out ceramic. All of the ceramic in my workshop is now going down the conveyor belt. So there you go. That is uh, an overview of the Manufacturing Extended mod. Uh, it adds functionality to the game that actually makes the conveyor belts usable in settlements as a practical tool for managing your settlements. Now, the mod also comes with a bunch of other stuff that I don't cover in this video, including new forges. You can now forge unarmed weapons. You can now forge melee weapons. Uh, it includes some upgrades for other forges. For example, railway rifles have been added to the weapons forge. So please check out the mod to read full descriptions of what's been added. These are the major new forges and sorters that I wanted to cover in my overview because they were, were really important to me. So thank you to the mod author Kentington for this awesome mod. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that was useful. Please subscribe for more Fallout 4 content, more Contraptions Workshop content, and more overviews of excellent mods. Thanks for watching.